This video is brought to you by StoneAgeGamer.com, a fantastic site for retro games, systems, accessories, and more. Be sure to check out StoneAgeGamer.com. Skip it up and that up. So in New Harley, Georgia, police showed up to the Eagle View Mobile Home Park to serve papers to somebody who violated their probation. But instead of the guy answering the door, a 17-year-old kid by the name of Christopher Roop answered the door. Uh, the woman police officer said that he had a gun in his hand and she shot him in the chest and he was dead. Eyewitnesses said that the kid didn't have a gun in his hand. He had a Wemo in his hand. He was about to watch a movie. When they saw him laying there, he had a Wemo, not a BB gun or a gun. And on top of it, to kind of reinstate the fact that he more than likely would just had a game controller in his hand, the cop who shot him left the scene with her, hand, with her head in her hands, crying. If she actually had a gun pointed at her and she had to do what she had to do, why would she be sobbing with her head in her hands? Come on. This is what the lawyer for the Roop family had to say regarding the kid having a gun in his hand. We don't know where that statement came from. The eyewitnesses on the scene clearly state that he had a Wii controller in his hand. He heard a knock at the door. He asked who it was. There was no response. So he opened the door and upon opening the door, he was immediately shot in the chest. Nine times out of ten, I generally try to avoid doing any kind of politically hence topics on review tech usa a lot of you guys especially on facebook send me a lot of stuff that's very politically tense for lack of a better word and i try to avoid it because i get very passionate about this stuff and on top of it too that's not what this channel's about but i it, this just amazes me man it's shoot first ask questions later and as much as she was uber sad about the fact that she shot this poor kid in the chest when more than likely all he had according to eyewitnesses was a wemo in his hand now she's trying to cover it up and saying oh yeah i saw a bb gun in his hand so why were you crying bitch if you thought you actually saw a weapon in his hand why were you sobbing you're 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 a fucked up cop then you're mentally unstable what if you have to shoot at a suspect all the time truly armed suspects do you cry every time you shoot them come on man you're you're covering your tracks now i mean you felt guilty but now you don't want to go to prison or get you know get your badge taken away from you unreal but there's just so many times there's so many horror stories i hear about cops beating the shit there was one story i saw where a cop beat the shit out of this bipolar this guy this homeless guy with mental disorders and they tried to say that they had to defend themselves but i saw the video of them beating the shit out of him and he's sitting there asking for his father to come help him and they showed a picture of how bad they beat this poor homeless man and he died or this one other story where th this kid took his father's car without his permission and they wanted to teach the kid the parents wanted to teach the kid a lesson and so they called the cops and I'm saying the car was stolen and they, all they want to do is get him handcuffs on him and say hey you can't take the car without our permission and the cops shot and killed the unarmed kid it, or when they were doing the Occupy Wall Street protests and they were peaceful protests and the cops with the protesters sitting on the ground in handcuffs because the cop was pissed off he just sprayed mace all over their faces this is scary this is police state shit man and it's happening more often i don't remember being younger especially when i was doing dumbass shit too i never got arrested thank god but close to it i don't remember being younger or hearing even stories like this outside of me hearing stories of all this police brutality i know it happened i know it happened but it's almost on a daily basis now i'm hearing these stories even like seven years ago i don't remember hearing these stories that much Something is fundamentally wrong, and I do not like the way things are going in this country. That's scary. I mean, this kid had a more than likely. There's still, let, let's at least try to be reasonable, give her the benefit of the doubt, even though from what I've been reading, I don't think this cop needs it. All this kid had was a Wemo in his hand, and he was 17 years old, and now he's dead because a cop had an itchy trigger finger unreal all right folks make sure to rate comment favorite and subscribe and as always thank you for supporting review tech usa have a good one